Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life vlog. I just wanted to quickly start this vlog. I'm actually heading out the door. I finished up work for the day and now I'm heading to a shoot and I feel like I'm really dressed up to go to UT's campus and like photograph someone, but I have drinks with the girls from Olive in June right after at like 5.45 and the shoot ends at like five. So I think I might have some time to run to HEB because I need to get a pie crust because tomorrow we're doing a little mini Friendsgiving. So I wanted to bake my famous derby pie. If you guys haven't been watching the vlogs for a while, like for a while, meaning like back in high school, you wouldn't know that I was actually a baker. I worked at this place called The Pie Hole in Roswell, Georgia. It's still there. I still talk to my boss and she gave me all the recipes and I cannot share them with anyone but seriously the best derby pie ever and so I'm really excited to make that and also eat it I really have to run out the door because I have to go get gas before the shoot so let's do it I'm with Taryn oh my gosh and that's me. <laughs> we're walking to the codependent we're gonna get some cocktails the Olive and June girls um, invited me to drink, so I'm really excited. I still have on their press-ons. They last so freaking long. We're here at Codependent. We're with Macy, and we're waiting on one more, but cheers, ladies. Monday night. Good morning, it is Tuesday and today I took off the day at work because I have a freaking busy day. I got invited to go to this workout class event. I've gotten invited to a few workout events since I've been in Austin. I've always said no because I'm always intimidated and also I just hate working out. But today's workout class is kind of different because it's like a dance workout. And I was like, okay, that's something I can get by because it doesn't actually sound or look like you're working out, like you're just dancing. And I thought that would be really fun. So I wanted to try it out. So that's why I originally took off um, the day at work because the event is at 9.30 a.m. It worked out well because me and Mariana are going to go to Costco. I've never been to a Costco before, so that's gonna be exciting, first of all. But second of all, I'm just gonna go ham. I'm gonna get like the alcohol bottles there. I'm gonna get like just bulk food. I'm gonna see what food they have for like apps for my party. I'm not sure if I already said this in the vlog, but my party, my birthday party celebration thing is on Saturday, but my birthday is on Thanksgiving. Um, and I've never really planned a party like this, so I'm really nervous but it's like feeling more real every day you know it gets closer to the event but i just feel like i'm a little nervous about how it's gonna look because i i'm creative but like creative in a different way and i don't think i have like the creativity to like make things like really look nice like table runners and like lay them a certain way and put these candles here because they're gonna look the nicest but i did buy a balloon arch so we're gonna do that together maybe tomorrow i've heard that balloon arches can like stay um alive pretty long so i think i'm gonna just go ahead and do that tomorrow um just so i can get like some things done because like i want to get a lot of things done before saturday obviously and then i also just booked my makeup appointment Pretty much everyone and everything I ever tried to get for this dang party was booked because it's wedding season. So that sucked because I was going to try to get caterers and the girl was like, to be honest, it's wedding season. Like you're going to have a really, really hard time finding someone to cater it. She said you're better off just ordering like takeout or like a large amount of takeout from a restaurant. But then I thought like it could be cute to just like make cute little apps. So I'm definitely going to do like charcuterie cups instead of like a board. It's just going to be like pre-made cups and make it look all cute. It's still so loud living on the street. I forgot to mention in my last vlog that there was something broken in the freaking window. I knew it. And that is why you have to be persistent when you like really think that something is wrong. I don't want to say keep nagging, but you know, again, be persistent with it because you never know if it could actually be broken. So there was like something that wasn't like, um, like on correctly so he replaced like the whole window and it's a lot 
quieter. Like, that was another story because that was like obviously a motorcycle that's being obnoxious. But other than that, like when trucks drive by, like I don't really get distracted as much as I used to, which is so nice. But I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Oh, Costco. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to go and see like what they have. And then I'm doing like a signature cocktail list. So um, I was talking to the bartender last night and she gave me like a whole list, like an extensive list of what I need to get for each cocktail. So also going to get that. Um, and then I also got drink dispensers last night because she said that it would be easier to like batch some cocktails and then like add like the garnishes because I'm having like 30 people there so I don't want people to just like be waiting in line the whole time to get cocktails um and then also so exciting I have like two drink sponsors that I like got by myself I was like so pumped um kind of happened last minute I reached out like a while ago but they finally <laughs> responded so I have Blue Norther which is like an Austin startup um seltzer and then I have Onda which is Shea Mitchell's freaking tequila seltzer brand i'm shook but yes i'm so excited and so thankful that they both agreed to send some cans over so i also want to like display their like drinks and cans all nicely so <sighs> there's just like a lot of things to do and i made another amazon order last night for like big drink bins so it can be like displayed really nice and then um i also bought like these speakers that can like sync so I'm gonna do one outside and one like inside the um, like little house thing. I'll show you guys when the day comes. But, but before I leave, I wanted to do a very quick set active haul. So I got a one rib shoulder. Um, I can't remember what this color is called, but it's like light blue. I got some matching biker shorts. Also my room is a mess because I have so many Amazon packages for the party. And I don't really like want to open them just yet. These are like some glassware, disposable glassware. Okay, this is, I know the color glow. And that's like the, shit, what's it called? The box bra, I want to say. Um, very supportive. This is another glow bra. I really like to get like at least one pants in the color and then like two or three bras in the color. <clears throat> this is the ribbed V in the glow color. Then I already have this color, which is, I believe, sand. And I just got the biker shorts because I already have the leggings and some bras. And then, of course, we have to get the matching biker shorts for the glow color. And all of these are in Sculpt Flex, by the way. That is kind of like that ribbed texture material, and it just sucks you in so good. So they're definitely my favorite, but I did buy one Lux form bra, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but another bra for the like ice color. I wonder if that's what it's called. I'm not sure. Um, and then this is the Lux form bra. It definitely feels a lot different. It's kind of like almost like a buttery bra. As you can see, it's not really ribbed, but it reminded me of the aloe bra, so I kind of wanted to try it out. And so this color is <clears throat> buttercream. And then I got some sweat shorts because I've been wanting to try their sweats out. And this color is shell, which kind of like looks like buttercream. I wonder if this is, I feel like it's the same color. I don't know. Why it says buttercream last thing i got some set active socks because i've been wanting some like cute little high-rise socks so yeah that is all of my set active haul and i really gotta get running i still have a pie in the oven that i never know how long to bake it for because i worked at a pie shop in high school and i have the recipe from that pie shop but we had huge commercial ovens so the times and the temperatures are so different compared to obviously my oven so it's always kind of a guessing game i'm with mariana Hi. we're gonna get our dance on and burn freaking calories and i forgot my apple watch and i'm mad because <laughs> it doesn't count <laughs> the work.
workout. I feel like we should do it before and after. I know, right? Coming in. <laughs> like, we kind of died. I hated the sculpt part, but like, she yes. was like, you kind of had to hate it. And I was like, I agree with that. But the dance part was so fun. And like, honestly, I kind of picked up, like, I feel like we did better than I thought I would do. So, I don't know, it's really fun. They have like a streaming service, it's like Dance Body Live, they have a whole app, so I'll try to like put information below. And there was a tomorrow. Yeah, in Austin, but it's a lot going up later, so. <laughs> Watermelon lime, green cleanse, and what's this one? Watermelon lime. There were some juice land juices, and I got two. I wanted to try both of them. This is the green cleanse. Cucumber, celery, kale, parsley, spinach, lemon, ginger, cayenne, maple syrup, and this one is the watermelon lime. So let's do a taste test of both of them. I'm just curious. That's good. I'm not a big fan of watermelon juice, but it's really good. Let's see. That one has a kick to it for sure. Um, and it's less sweet. I think I like the watermelon lime better, but it says it's only a seasonal special. Also, I just got to Costco. Mariana had to like run one errand before and I have a call at 12.30 and it's like 11.15. This whole day is just gonna be a big freaking rush. I'm really, really hoping that I have time to go back home like right after this, drop the stuff off, get on my call, shower, and then head to a shoot but we will see. I feel kind of like just gross, obviously, when you sweat and it just dries up, you just feel dirty. Um, but I don't know like what food I'm gonna get yet. So I was gonna do like small apps, but I wanted to see what's in their frozen section, just like some easy stuff. I'm definitely gonna do charcuterie cups and then obviously have the cocktail. So like my cocktail, um, what, what, are, the, what are they called? Um, bartender, <laughs> she texted me like, um, I texted her, all the drinks I wanted so like for example espresso martini and then she sent me back a list of like everything she needs for that drink so I'm gonna try to get like a lot of the alcohol here I've heard they have better prices here and I'm just gonna get like two or three handles of each alcohol um, so hopefully that's enough and if we run out then we still have those cans from the drink sponsors so I feel like it shouldn't be an issue but I'm just worried about the food honestly um, because I don't want to have like pot stickers and then pigs in a blanket and then charcuterie like I, I feel like it needs some kind of a theme and some kind of like cohesiveness throughout the like cuisine I think I'm gonna try to go in there I don't know if they check the Costco cards at the door or something but I think I might start shopping and just have her meet me in there because I don't want to be in too much of a rush first Costco sample coconut shrimp stocked up on liquor. This is the car. It is freaking packed so much. And now it's time to unload, so very fun. I went home super fast, put away all the groceries and took a shower. And now I drove um, out to like the hills area. I don't even know where I am. It's pretty far though, but I am shooting with a blogger that I shoot with every month. I'm hoping I don't get stuck in too much traffic on the way back because the shoot ends at 5.15 and I have a Friendsgiving at 6.30. We're in the <laughs> courtyard. And we got our little set up here. Looks so good. Everyone did great. Sides given. Yes, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it is Wednesday and I just clocked out of work. And honestly, this whole day was just, I don't know, kind of bleh. I got ready, showered and everything, and now I don't really even have like time to create content because I have to go to a shoot. And obviously the shoot will be like until sunset. So, and I don't really like using a ring light anymore. Like I prefer using natural light. So it just ugh, sucks that the sun sets so fast in the day. I don't know, but it's kind of crazy because yesterday I was like, go, go, go. Literally did not have time to like breathe. And today I did have time to breathe, but I also just had a lot of stuff to do that I didn't do, you know? Like, I feel like when my schedule is more jam-packed, I feel like I get more stuff done just because, like, I don't have time to, like, sit there and procrastinate. So, today was just kind of, like, I don't know. But I'm kind of telling myself, like, maybe I needed that day to just, like, chill and relax for a bit. 
after my shoot, I'm gonna come home. We'll probably eat dinner. And then we got invited to um, the screening of House of Gucci with Lady Gaga and Adam Driver, I think his name is. So we're going to that and I haven't been to the movies in forever and I just love going to the movies when I'm forced, if that makes sense. If Ryan asked me, if I wanted to go to the movies, like I'll always say no because because I'd rather be at home and my PJs like literally in a blanket, cuddled, maybe even working on my laptop. But to go to the movies is such an effort and then I always get tempted to buy like the movie theater popcorn, like I can't go to the movies unless I get that. So definitely need to pack some lactate pills for tonight. Um, the last time I ate like really, really buttery popcorn, I got like a whole breakout around my mouth which we don't have time for that because I just peeled off my freaking scab from the last pimple I had. So now my skin is baby soft and there's no bump. So love that for me and right in time for my birthday party on Saturday. Um, but yeah, skin's looking nice. It always just breaks out right before my period, like the week before and I got a facial. So that kind of like brought out some stuff, but I don't know why it's just like always right before my period i'm gonna plan my wedding around when i am not on my period like maybe like the week after my period when my skin is glowing it's not gonna have breakout i feel like that would be smart today's shoot is at the long center that's where i did the holiday minis and it has like a really nice view of downtown it's right by the river um and yeah Let's get it. I really don't feel like going to the shoot right now, but obviously I have to because it's work. This shoot was supposed to happen last week and I got rescheduled. Gotta go do my duties. It's almost 6.20. I got Chipotle on my way home. I also picked up another um, like set of cans from a drink sponsor for my birthday. Um, I can't remember if I like even unboxed the other one this morning, but I got one drink sponsor here i'm sorry about the mess by the way i asked um what the dress code was for this screening um for the house of gucci thing because i didn't know if it was going to be like a nice event or what like i've never really gotten invited to like go see a movie so i was like hey is there a dress code and he was like no just like what wear whatever you wear to the movies and i don't know if he's gonna regret that because i'm literally in sweatpants mini uggs and this really nice sweater i got on amazon it's like 40 bucks but it's just so worth it because i think it's like the same exact style as this street easy tunic from free people i want to say it has these like seams like that you can see on the outside so it has like a unique touch to it and it comes in a bunch of other colors i'm gonna link it down below seriously you need it because it's such a good quality sweater um and obviously it's neutral. Um, I can't remember what other colors it comes in. But anyways, so the guy emailed back and he was like, you know, wear whatever. And then maybe a Gucci bag. And I was like, the fact that you think I have a Gucci bag. <laughs> I do. I have a fake one that Ryan bought me in New York. And it like, honestly, kind of looks real. I mean, I could never tell the difference. But I thought that was really funny. <laughs> I'm going through this like internal back and forth whether I should like get movie theater popcorn because I don't want my face to be breaking out right before my party but I don't really go to the movies that often so I really really want some popcorn. It is Thursday which means it's two days before my birthday party and I have so much to do starting off with making some like signs. I wanted like a sign for the cocktails and a sign for like the welcome entrance kind of thing. So I'm gonna do it on my Cricut. So I have it all set up. I'm gonna do the welcome alone because I want it to be big. Then I got some just smart vinyl. I decided not to use the permanent vinyl just because like I don't need it to be like dishwashed. Um, but let's do this. Let's see. It's so thin. It's like really, really thin. You probably won't even be able to see it. Like the cuts that it made. But maybe I need to find a better font. I got a casualty from picking up like the glass sheet 
I didn't read that there was like a literal warning saying be careful, glass is super sharp. So I cut my finger pretty bad. It turned out like okay. The original font that I picked was way too thin and it did not work. So I had to do like a different font that I don't love, but I think it like looks okay. Um, so you have to like wait till my birthday vlog. I'm gonna like film the whole thing um, and you can see it there because I'm gonna get an easel. Think that should be on its way. I'm currently heading out to a shoot at the same place as yesterday, the Long Center. Um, I'm doing some photos of a real estate group. Um, so headshots and then team photos. The guy just called me and said that there were some like things being set up there. And so I was like nervous, but he said it wasn't like the whole pavilion. So I feel like we should be good. Crossing my fingers. It is cold today. So I have like layers on just cause I don't really want to be like too fluffy in a jacket while I'm shooting. Um, but this is like my second to last shoot of the year. Well, at least scheduled. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be doing more shoots, but we'll see. Um, oh my God. Okay. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Um, how about we all meet in that parking lot area and then we can walk over to where I think we'll do like the headshots and team photos. Cool? Yes, towards the river, yep. Okay, all right, see you soon, bye. Okay, so that was the guy just called me. Apparently it is a private event. Good to know before I get there, but um, anyways, this is my second to last shoot. I'm really excited. Tomorrow I have a gig and I usually don't take weekend gigs, but it was for that sorority that I always take photos at and I love them and it's like just like a fun, easy gig. So I said yes. I always like to get places early, but then I start doing all this. Like I start vlogging and then I just, the time gets away from me, so. your girl can't go literally seven days without it babe i literally thought today was tuesday i was like wait we literally couldn't go like two days without sushi when we eat sushi on sunday at oh. soto that was yummy um still keep thinking about that foie gras but we're gonna get some sushi and then i reserved us um a spot at the waterloo greenway lights show it's not going on for much longer i think it's like literally through this weekend so we're gonna go see that tonight and i literally brought like uh what's called warm pills. hand hand <laughs> <laughs> that too, I like, brought my lactate pills. Um, but no, hand warmers, because I get so cold it's so easily. It's out tonight, it's pretty chilly. It is chilly. Are you being sarcastic? I know you are. Out here being dramatic, <laughs> but it is like cold. Like 70. It's cold. <laughs> it's 58 right now, I think. Ooh, I brought my hand warmers, but now we're gonna go see that light show thing at the Waterloo Greenway. We went like two years ago or whenever before COVID hit and I think it's in a different location now, right? Or it's yeah. the same like river thing? Yeah, it was down here, remember before and you go in the middle of those woods? Yeah, it was like kind of like in an alleyway. Like what are they called in Venice Beach? The canals. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of like a canal, like, and I was like, where has this been? Cause we didn't even know it existed, it but. down and everything, I forgot what it's called. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but now it's at the new Waterloo Greenway. Um, and it's like a really nice park. The one time we went though, it was so hot. So we didn't like stay too long. What's up here? Where is it? I don't know. I think we're not, I think it's not. The there. place we went to with uh, Sophie and we were playing ball. Yeah, I don't think it's there. I'm sorry. Babe, it has to be there. Because it's literally Waterloo Greenway's light show. So. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. We're walking to where everyone else is walking. Friday and I usually don't incorporate it into my week in my life but 
tomorrow is the actual party and I wanted to do a full vlog on that and probably won't be vlogging on Sunday because we leave to go home on Monday. So I'm guessing Sunday is just going to be either really hungover and lazy packing or scrambling around and like running around the house and packing because I'm going on like three back to back trips. So I don't even know how I'm going to pack for that. I'm already getting stressed thinking about it. But before that, I need to film a lot of content just like for brands that have either gifted me something or um, campaigns that I need to film. So I need to finish up an H-E-B campaign. So I'm over here taking some cute little flat lays. I thought this would be cute. I put like the um, glow tonic, it's not glow tonic, it's rose tonic and my facial roller like in the cactus. So I'm gonna take a little close up. I thought that would be cute. And then um, I have like three more products to shoot. I'm also filming another campaign for favor. So just trying to get like all the content done today just because I know tomorrow will be freaking crazy. Hopefully not. Hopefully like I'm gonna be calm. I'm getting my makeup done at 7 a.m. which is super early but that's the only time she could do it because she had like a client later in the day and she was like it's gonna last all day no worries. So I was like okay I trust you girl like let's do it. I just haven't had like a special event to go to that it was like needed. I'm also gonna go live on Amazon. I'm gonna talk about my favorite beauty, lifestyle, and fashion Amazon faves. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so because that's where I announce when I'm going live. And follow my Amazon storefront because you can get notified when I go live. But if you guys can join the last two Amazon lives, I will link them down below because you can still watch them. They just won't be live. Just finished my Amazon live now. It is time to create some TikToks um, because I want to post like a couple things that I got from Amazon this month, but I just have not had the time to do it yet. So I'm gonna use the miso soup sound and show off this super freaking cute jacket. Um, I don't know if you guys know the free people jacket, the quilted one. I didn't really want to spend the money on it. So like always, I looked on Amazon and I found this for, I think it's like $70, but honestly it's better than paying like a hundred something dollars for the free people one. Like it's like pretty much half off. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. It has this like quilted texture um, and it comes in a lot of other colors too. It has like this brown tan one. I just already have like a camel kind of like coat color. So I wanted to like try something new. My party's tomorrow and I still have not tried on any of my dresses. So I thought it'd be fun to try them on all for you guys. I would have already picked out what I'm wearing by the time you're watching this, but thought I could give my first impression. So I ordered some from Shop Red Dress, um, one from Fashion Nova and one from pretty little thing so let's get the trying on here's the first option and the back has this like cute little opening I'm wearing like a bra right now but I can probably go braless to be honest and it's more of like a champagne -y. I kind of wanted something a little bit more gold so let's try on the next this is the next dress a little bit better but maybe the hair up this is the next one it's very flowy it has like a lot of slits and I feel like that could be really cute. And it also has like a bodysuit, which is really cool um, because you know, the slits can be high. But I don't know, Ryan was just telling me that I look like a fortune teller and I also felt like it's very costumey, but I feel like it's my golden birthday. Like I gotta, I don't know, dress like really fancy. So this could be like really cute. I don't know. What do we think? I think I found my fave so far. This is from Fashion Nova and the whole room, like I don't know if you can tell behind me, it's like literally lighting up like a freaking disco ball. I think it's so cute. The only thing is that it kind of shows like my scars right here, but I don't really mind. I mean, I don't really care. I mean, all my friends know what's going on over there, so <laughs> I think it should be fine, but I think it's very flattering. I just purchased one option for the bars, and this one is from Pretty Little Thing. I think we're going to go out on the east side right after the party ends at 10. So this is my outfit change. It is see-through. It's pretty thin. So I'm just wearing a Skims bodysuit underneath. I'm making another sign um, for the cocktail list. So I'm going to use black vinyl this time just because the other sign, you can't really read it because it's white. But I'm hoping at night if we like shine a light through the back, maybe you'll be able to read it but I was just gonna make this one black to be easy so it sits on the bar. Next, I want to do, or like start on the balloon arch. I'm a little nervous, but it's okay because I think it'll be fine. 
We got it all done and now I have to like cut it out and everything, but I think I'm gonna take a break and do the balloons now. The counter is a mess because all of my packages, all of the alcohol sitting right there, there's laundry over there, it's, it's crazy. But I'm gonna start on the balloons and I got this balloon pumper on Amazon and it's so nice, like it's so fast, it blew this up like super fast. There's two of them too, so if you wanted to do two at a time, I don't think I'm there yet, but maybe I'll get there by the end of this balloon arch. much later and the balloon garland is finished i'll probably add like a couple more when it's at the venue and it's like placed and that way i can see where it needs to be filled in but it looks pretty voluminous so i'm really happy about it and honestly it wasn't hard it was actually kind of fun but i'm still working on that cocktail sign thing with the cricket because one part of it got messed up and i kind of gave up for a little bit i'm now headed to a photography gig um for a sorority formal and it is my last shoot of the year I cannot even explain how happy I am. I love shooting, but I'm ready for a break. I'm ready to go home, ready to see the fam and all of that. But our house is a mess and I just really want it to be clean. My makeup artist for the party tomorrow is literally coming here at 7.45 a.m. So I don't want her to walk into a really messy house. I did my laundry, I just separated Ryan's out and hopefully he can do his before she comes. If you guys are not already following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. I'll probably make a whole Instagram highlight about my party um, after the fact, whenever I get all my stories up and everything. So if you guys are interested and can't wait to see the birthday party vlog, then you can go head over there and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.